Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Today's video, we're going to talk about are we being warned by certain elites on what could be happening soon? All right, guys, so a lot of people are or were alarmed what Mark Zuckerberg did last week, or at least what we heard about what he was doing last week, as far as building an underground bunker. Now, the Internet went insane over this, and I'm thinking... That's nothing. That's nothing to be nervous over, you know, like, oh, my God, is he warning us? Are they trying to tell us that something's coming? No. Mark Zuckerberg is a weirdo, like the rest of us. Mark Zuckerberg could be a prepper. So this is something that he has money to do. Because I can tell you right now, guys, for every last one of us that had his money, we would have a bunker. Simple as that. So by him building a bunker doesn't mean that something's going to happen. Maybe he's just a prepper and he's preparing for some shit. The other side of that coin is he is part of the elites and he is in the know. And he does know more than we do for sure because that's what those people talk about. So, yeah, could it be something? Maybe. I don't think so. I'm not looking at it as such. I'm not thinking, oh, man, this is a pre-warning. Because if more billionaires are doing this, then I would be concerned. Now, yeah, you had Kim Kardashian. I think she did something similar to her. I was talking about it. I, or Kanye West, if I'm not mistaken, a few years ago, he built something. And then a couple of other, like, rich, famous people we know had some shit built. And then there's those that we don't know if they had anything built or not. And I'm going to go on the, on the side of caution and say they probably did, and we just don't know about it. But it still doesn't mean it's a warning. Yes, there's a lot of shit headed our way. There's a lot of shit that we're speculating that's headed our way. There's a lot of things that we're starting to see unfold very slowly heading our way. Nonetheless, I don't think this is a big deal. I don't think that him doing this is him telling the world, oh, you're shit out of luck. You're going to die. Am I gonna, uh, we're going to survive. Not at all. It's just one of those things. Again, because he's such a weirdo and I have this odd feeling he could be a prepper like the rest of us. He just has the money to do what needs to be done to protect his family. That's how I'm looking at it. Again, that back part of my brain, the conspiracy theory part of my brain, is like, well, what if he does know something and that's why he's building this? Could be, guys. Could be. Now, could he have read the same article about the sunspot in the, uh, on the sun, that giant hole that opened up and he's worried about that? He could be worried about that as well. So I know I did that video and a lot of people, not a lot of people, but a few people were like, you're fear mongering. No, it was a conversation piece. That's all it was. I'm not worried about the sun. I'm not worried about anything that could happen to us, guys. That's me. I don't care because I'm ready for 99% of it. But that 1% chance of some fucked up shit happening, that's something that's out of our control that none of us can control and or worry about or probably just end us and it wouldn't matter anyway. But for anything I talk about on this channel, it's not the fear monger, it's a conversation piece, and that's it. I'm not going to say we're going to die. I don't know. I, I can say that a lot of the shit that's said to happen, I don't think a lot of us are going to die. I don't think any of us are going to die. I think there might be some shit. There might be some disruptive shit. But I don't think anything's going to knock us on our ass that badly unless there's a new pandemic breaking out. A new something being released in the air. And then... That could be a concern, like this deer, the deer zombie virus, that wasting disease that's been killing deers for a very long time. Now they found a few in Yellowstone, and now all of a sudden scientists are up in arms and saying that it can make a species jump to humans. I was like, what? More fear mongering. Now that's fear mongering. When you start talking about shit that could happen and how it could wipe out humanity, like the sun sunspot or the wasting disease, jumping species into humans. That's fear monitoring because they want you to be scared about everything and stressed out. They want you guys, the peoples that are in charge, want you to look at the newspaper every day and have your high blood pressure cranking. That is why they're always reporting all of this silly shit. This, they, they talked about the new Mr. 19 and the new variant that's out there that's taking over the world by storm. I'm like, what? Never even heard any shit like that. But that's what they're pushing. They're pushing that bullshit. So, again, guys, it, this is for them to put us in a fear-mongering state so that we're always worried. I can care less about anything that's going to happen. I'm going to handle it or I'm not. That's simple. Either I'm going to adapt to the situation and survive 
or I'm not going to be able to adapt and I'm going to die. Those are the two options on the table when something happens. Simple. If that sunspot thing lets go a CME and it, it it's, winds up being 60, 60 times worse than the uh, Carrington event, so be it. Either it's going to wipe out all electronics or it's not. So either way, guys, whatever happens, we will be okay. Especially us preppers who've been doing it for a while, we'll be all right. Now, prepping, guys, doesn't guarantee your survival. It guarantees that you're going to fare better than the next person. Right? Because, listen, you could have everything you, you need to be prepped. Hell, you could be Mark Zuckerberg. You could have everything you need, that underground bunker, the, the food, the water, the filtration system, the air filtration, the whole nine yards. And then you just wind up dying in a car accident on your way to the bunker. There goes all those supplies. Now, back to Mark Zuckerberg. He is building a 500-foot square underground bunker. That's pretty big. For a bunker, that is. Anyway, and he's also building his home topside at the same exact time. So he bought land in Hawaii, and he decided to build his own a new home, probably one of many, in Hawaii. And while he has that done, or having that done, He's building the underground bunker. It's just a, a, a thing he's doing, a project he's working on. That's what these people do. So, again, I'm not worried about it. I'm not taking it as a warning sign. Could it be? It could be. But, again, guys, even if it is, who gives a fuck? Who cares if this is a warning sign or not? We're going to be ready for whatever happens because we're not being told what's coming next. Though they drop these subtle hints with, oh, the financial system could really go belly up this year. I'm still waiting on that bullshit. Oh, a new thing could pop up and wipe out 30% of the population. Still waiting on that new bullshit to happen. Oh, the sun's starting to act up. It's cooling up. It's heating up. It's cooling down. It's sending out waves. It could knock out all our electronics. Still waiting on that bullshit. I'm not holding my breath. I'm not sitting here worried about it. I'm just like, yo, it happens, it happens. That's what this channel's for. To let you guys know the possibility of things out there what's being talked about out there and then that's it that's it that's all we do we don't sit there and panic i'm not going to be like guys this shit's about to go down but before it does please go to my store and buy some gear because it'll help you survive get the fuck out of here nothing's going to help you survive other than your brain your brain is the number one tool that's going to get you through whatever comes next period so to worry about what's going to come guys don't worry develop a plan that is the basis of being a prepper. Don't worry, develop a plan, and shit will work out for you. Simple as that. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching.